Um, Bud has just noticed the uh, knuckle dragger technique and commented. Uh, I wanted to know about that. All right, knuckle dragger technique uh, uh, was actually something that uh, I guess uh, as I got older, I started to develop a uh, bad case of carpal tunnel syndrome. And I found that trying to airbrush like this uh, with my finger on the tip of the brush required much more activity from my my finger to get the subtle movements that I wanted. So, uh, combination with, you know, I never really felt comfortable working like that, no matter what airbrush it was. Um, but I started to notice that I carved my mojo uh, on this edge here. What I do with, the, with this particular brush is I give you a little bit of bevel in the middle of the trigger so that this thing sits right into the groove of your finger. And you'll find it quite comfortable to use over a very long period of time with a, a minimal amount of physical exertion on your finger and a combination of muscles. And I find that using the least amount of muscles possible when you're doing this uh, is advantageous to you know longevity and um, you know it's kind of like Viagra for your finger. And, uh, you know, if you go ahead and uh, just practice a little bit with it, you just put your finger off the side. Being left-handed, I kind of flop it over the barrel. And you can't get your finger, like, straight line over your airbrush, which is really one of the principles of trying to get that type of direct pull where you're, you're, you're using that muscle in your finger in that way. It doesn't have so much of the ability to come in and come around at an angle and get that same action. So it's really quite awkward and not natural for the hand. So... I changed the uh, trigger and also the finger position just so that the trigger kind of works right into the crease of that. And all I really have to do is the muscle between here and here is the only thing I'm really using now. I'm just kind of just curling, the, doing little finger curls, you know, and just kind of, <laughs> I don't know, flexing my first knuckle a little bit at a time. That's it. And my carpal tunnel has been much better since I've adopted this particular